all colleges in the country were asked to present six objectives, where they will start with three and then do the other three. We had academic board meeting where we outlined the objectives that we want to start with, how we're going to move from diploma award institution to degree award institution. Where we realized that the existing health facility closer by weren't satisfying all our needs, health needs. The college discussed this issue with the Sanargo District Directorate of Health. So they granted us the go ahead to establish the sick bay. We will provide the facility and then the health directorate will provide us with the personnel. We can boast of three qualified nurses that are posted to that facility. Then we have two medical doctors who attend to our health needs three times in a week. Seven boreholes have been sunk. And these seven boreholes serve as a lot. They are all mechanized except one. So that if there is no electricity, trainee teachers can go to the manual borehole. Baga Baga College of Education is outside the boundaries of Tamale. And without the boreholes in the community, we would have walked kilometers away from campus, and which would have prevented us to go to class early in the morning to study. Hitherto, we didn't have uh, policies that could help us uh, run the college as expected of a, a university or a tertiary institution. So we formulated 14 uh, policies and implemented them. We agreed that any time we have a vacancy, we should give priority to a female. That is, those who are qualified. Females that we have were two, and now we now have eight. And out of these eight, three are now in management position. I think the college is very, very supportive uh, in my activities as a gender focal person. This is the first time we've had a female vice SRC president. SRC is Students' Representative uh, Council. We sensitize the students. And really, when she paired with the SRC president, they got the highest vote, and she's now there. Most of the structures were not gender responsive. What we observe is that when females are misrating, they rather prefer staying in the hostel because they don't want to come around the lecture hall so that when they saw themselves, they are not comfortable. We thought it wise that we need a changing room so that when females are mesurating, they can go there to change themselves and to come back to lectures. So with the training that we got from TITEL, we were able to uh, factor some understanding with organizations, both locally and internationally. We had understanding with Ghana National Fire Service, where they gave it uh, training on fire issues. If, in fact, that training was free. Then we had understanding with Action Aid to start early childhood program. In fact, all the teaching and learning materials were funded by Action Aid Ghana and uh, ours was to present the teachers who will teach. I was brought in to Barabara College to come and establish early childhood education unit. In the future, we intend to enroll teacher trainees to come and study early childhood program. This center is going to be the resource center.
Based on the college improvement plans that we have implemented so far and the support given to us by TTEL, where we had a lot of training, management is now ready to uh, go with the new dispensation. That is where the college will start Bachelor of Education degree.